Civil rights is not just African American history, it's American history, and uh, that's the most important part for people to know. Literally, every time I come back to Memphis, I always come by here. It's just like a steady reminder of why, you know, we have the opportunity to do what we do. You learn a lot, it's a really powerful experience. It doesn't just talk about Dr. King and, and his assassination, but, you know, the history of civil rights and where America, you know, was at one time and the progression of our country. So it's really cool. You learn a lot. And it, I think anytime you see something like this, it's, it's so eye opening. Like, it's not that long ago, especially a lot of the, you know, the Freedom Riders and the civil rights things of that, of that nature. Like, those are elderly people in the world right now. You know, those are people that are still alive. They're, they're grandparents to somebody was still functioning as a motel to 1982. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it, it operated a long time after Dr. King was assassinated. So it was assassinated in 68. The motel still operated until 1982. Just seeing all the people here just, just honoring his name, his legacy, what he did for us African Americans in this country itself is just, it's a full circle moment. Just, just realizing the opportunity that we have here. You just never take advantage of everything, you know, even the small moments. So. I was just happy that just me and the guys could just come here and just experience this as a team. It was, it was really dope. You know, just, just reflect, think about the opportunity that you guys have in front of you. You guys, especially you guys starting your NBA careers. I think sometimes we, we get so consumed with the us, we forget about the shoulders that we're standing on that put us in this position.